Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi Self here, back bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! Collection video update. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my sealed booster pack collection of Yu-Gi-Oh! It is quite expansive, so sit back, kick your feet up, grab a snack, and enjoy this video. It's going to be a bit of a long one. I'm going to basically show you every single pack that I have, a bit of a history as to how I got them and why I'm keeping them sealed, and let me know down in the comment section which packs you would like to see open in future videos, guys. Remember to drop that thumbs up as well and subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. I do have some other boxes full of specific packs, so I'm going to put these just to one side for now, and I'm going to get into the main uh, draw, you could say, of packs. This is a uh, an actual chest of drawers that I've had to dismantle to make sure all my packs would fit in. Uh, let's just get straight into it, guys, and start pulling out some random packs. So these are just assorted pretty randomly, mainly 5Ds packs in here, and then we'll get into GX and all the stuff later as well, but let's just show you a couple of my boost packs. So here we have a promotional pack for Metal Raiders. These are getting really rare and hard to find. These come with the, uh, I believe, is it the sample summon skull in? Um, if you get it, but sometimes it just comes with a random Metal Raiders card, so these are pretty cool, uh, really, really rare, and hard to find. This, I believe, is a hobby, Shadow of Infinity. Uh, yes, it is a hobby, ending in 9.2. Um, retails are 9.8. Then we've got a Champion Pack 6. These are kind of just random, like I say. Tournament Pack 3. Duelist Pack Chaz, first edition. I'm glad it's Assault, first edition. And take a look at this thing, guys. This is a misprint Crossroads of Chaos, first edition pack. Take a look at this space here where it's just printed silver. Uh, completely long crimped, you could say, but wow, that's just one of my most amazing boost packs ever. And there's like missing some of the seal on the back here. This was a complete factory error, guys. Probably priceless. I don't think I've ever seen a, another booster pack like this. So if you have, let me know. But yeah, this thing's really, really cool, and I adore it very, very much for my collection. And uh, I'll be keeping this for a while, for a long time. Seal. Not gonna open it. So here as well, we've got some other random packs, uh, like a first edition Lord of Attack on Galaxy, uh, first edition Lost Millennium, first edition Stardust Overdrive. Uh, you might be noticing I do keep some of my packs in these plastic protectors. If you are a sealed pack collector, I definitely would suggest buying these. They are basically uh, tarot booster pack protectors. Uh, let me see if I've got some over here. Yeah, I do. Let me just show you what they look like and how they come. So I think it's like 10 bucks for a pack of maybe 50 or 100 of them, and they're just clear plastic sleeves, the size of booster packs, and you'll be able to sleeve up your packs and protect them from being scratched, especially if you want to plan on getting some of these booster packs graded, which I actually was, but missed out this chance to when PSA shut down. But Starlust Overdrive, Magic Ruler, Pharaonic Guardian 1st Edition, Ancient Sanctuary 1st Edition, Pharaoh Seven First 1st Edition, some of the OG stuff here. Again, just nice to have sealed for the collection. I don't have boxes, so I thought, you know, having a pack would be would be enough. And to be honest, it is. I'm quite happy just having uh, boost packs like this. Um, so then we'll move into, yeah, let's start from the top right. Uh, here we've got some Phantom Darkness, I think. Might be Italian Phantom Darkness. Yeah. Some first edition Italian Phantom Darkness or Squeaker Phantasma. I did scale these. We did pull the... Um, Dark Arm Dragon already, so these should be light packs, and this is its first edition North American European one. Just look at the difference in colour, guys. This is American, this is Italian European, and you can tell by just looking at the back. I really, really enjoy how packs just look and just really just feel different, and yeah, it's something amazing uh, how these are still kept sealed after you know being released 13 years ago, Phantom Darkness coming out in 2008. So moving on, we have a few more Magic Ruler packs. These were the ones that came from the box that I opened. So I've still got quite a few of these sealed. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, plus the one we saw over there. So we've got eight Magic Ruler first editions, which is pretty cool. Then we've got some uh, like champion tournament packs, some OTS stuff, which uh, just randomly keep here. I don't know why I've kept it. Just why not really? So this is uh, champion pack eight. So this one that comes with uh, Lumina, super rare. And we've got Tournament Pack 2, so OTS 2, that's why I kept it sealed, because it's OTS 2, guys, and some OTS 10. Just random uh, OTS stuff here. There could be an Ultimate Rare in here, to be honest, I don't know. Um, most likely that there is, but uh, I'm just going to keep that sealed, I think, because there's no real point in me opening it. I mean, yeah, we are an opening channel, but the whole point of keeping stuff sealed, guys, is I am a collector. I'm not just an opener. Like, I really do enjoy 
keeping stuff sealed. Um, very, very much so. So here are some Light of Destruction first edition. These are American. And this is a, is that a European one. No, these are all American Light of Destructions. Very, very rare and hard to find set. My favorite set from GX actually. Uh, here we go. We've got some classic GX packs now. Um, so we have Shadow of Infinity. I think these are retail packs. Uh, two retail and yeah, all retail. Those are four retail. Shadow of Infinity. Then we've got some classic Rise of Destinies. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. We've got some Lost Millennium extras. Two, three, four, five. What's part of the doors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the classic ones. You used to be able to find these back in. I reckon it was like 2018, 2019. You used to pick up like Power of the Duelist packs for like $5 still. It was crazy. Uh, now they're around like $20 a pack. Maybe like $15, $20 a pack. But still, you used to be able to pick them up so cheap. And even like Lost Millennium retail packs as well. It was insane. Now you just can't do that. Got some Star Strike Blast, a very rare and hard to find set. Only was ever printed in first edition. So I got about 12, 15 of those, which is pretty cool. Really cool set. We have the Ghost Rare in PSA 10. Um, then we've got some Shining Darkness first edition packs. You know, we've opened loads of these blisters in the past, so a set that's quite common in first edition, you could say. Here we go, guys. This is some pretty serious stuff. So, 5Ds first edition Duelist Genesis. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 first edition. That's more than half a booster box worth of Duelist Genesis. I don't think I'll be opening these unless the channel grew overnight and we hit 10k. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some crosses of Chaos as well. I used to just buy these um, whenever it was like two, three years ago. And I used to just pick these up, guys. I picked them up for like seven, eight dollars. No, no, seven, eight pounds, like 10, 15 dollars a pack. Um, two years ago, two, three years ago. And let's just say I don't regret doing that because that was one of the best decisions I have made, I think. Buying those and look how, much, look how many more Crossroads of Chaos I do have. A bit a bit of me does worry, is there going to be a first edition Black Rose Dragon inside of here? You never know. There might be an ulti at least, or maybe even a ghosty. I think I have like 40 of these, so... Not a decent chance of there being a ghost rare, guys. It's just... They are impossible to scale. You cannot scale them. Um, even this one's got a bit of a misprint, you can see there. Like the previous ones, the bit of the uh, silvering missing. It's just no point in me trying to open these, I don't think. They're just so expensive, guys. I'm going to have a little pause in the video and just discuss why I probably don't open these packs. It's because they're so expensive. This Cybernetic Revolution, I think, is a hobby. Yeah, it's a hobby pack. This is worth like $100. $80 to $100. It's just ridiculous, guys. The value of these packs just kept sealed is so much better than opening them. If you open a pack and get nothing, You've lost 99% of, it, of its value, it's crazy. Some more crosses of chaos, you'd really put these in sleeves. Another shining darkness, uh, nice. Here we go, these are some interesting packs. Duelist Revolution First Edition, I've got loads of these. I actually picked up, I think it was like 100, sold some off, kept some. Um, unscaled, unsearched, Duelist Rev European packs, they're really, really nice. Um, maybe I'll open these someday. I don't know. Um, I might do. But then again, don't count on it. But everything you see here, guys, I will need some convincing. So make sure you leave comments down below as to what you think I should be uh, I should be opening, what you think I should be keeping sealed. Personally, none of this stuff's to be to be opened. That's why I haven't shown you guys it for a long time. I've uh, got some unlimited Stardust Overdrive. Uh, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy again. Then we've got some uh, GX stuff. This is a hobby Shadow of Infinity, ending in 9-2. Some Duelist Pack Yugi, which is really rare. These are light, the Duelist Pack Yugis. Another Phronic Guardian, Legacy of Darkness, Asian, um, Asian English. Uh, first edition LOB, but this is Canadian French. Pretty nice. Then we also have some more GX, as I was saying, like Strike and Neos. Let's see if I can take these out and show you. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, like, Shining Darkness, Stardust Overdrive First Edition, quite a rare set. Some more Ancient Prophecy, some more First Edition, Crossroads of Chaos, some more Duelist Genesis. Wow, okay. 
I clearly was, wasn't was good enough at dividing these into their relevant sets, but hey, -oh, we must live and learn. Tactical Evolution, are those European Tactical Evolutions? No, they're North American. Striker Neos, uh, some more Striker Neos. Some of these are hobby, some of these are European. Uh, Cybernetic Revolution, yeah, loads more first edition Cybernetic Revolution guys. So you've now basically seen everything from the first box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it back inside of here uh, and move it to one side so I can show you the rest of my seal packs. And it does start to get a bit more rare and a bit more interesting in the next couple of pack, uh, next couple of booster packs that I will be showing you guys. So let me just clear this up and I'll show you what's coming next. Next up guys, we have this amazing box where we have more packs. Let's see what's inside. So we have some Toon Chaos Blisters. These are European Toon Chaos Blister packs. Really, really nice. Uh, I enjoy them. I haven't opened any, but I just like keeping these sealed. Um, more so than the American ones. Some more Crossroads of Chaos first edition packs, guys. I know, I probably have the most first edition Crossroads of Chaos packs out there and I just don't want to open them ever because I'm scared. It's going to not be beneficial, guys. But yeah, maybe one day at uh, 10,000 subscribers you guys can try and convince me to open all these first edition packs. I don't think I'll ever, I ever will, but yeah. I'm going to put these back in because my little dividers here are going to fall through if I, if I don't. So I'll just put these back inside like so. Like that. Then we've got some other cool packs in here. Uh, let's just start working our way from this side. Um, Elemental Energy First Edition, Shadow of Infinity European with the long crimps, guys. Very fancy long crimps. Dwarfs Pack Yu uh, Yugi, Enemy of Justice. That's a hobby Enemy of Justice First Edition LOB. The only one, the one and only. Uh, LOB, Metal Raiders, Long Crimp Unlimited, Metal Raiders Unlimited, Magic Ruler First Edition. Um, yeah, should we dig out this pile? Let's take a look and see. We've got um, Spell, uh, sorry, Pharaoh's Servant, LOD, PGD, Magician's Force First Dead, two Unlimiteds, Dark Crisis First Dead, Ancient Sanctuary, more Duelist, Pack Yugi, Cybernetic Revolution, Power of the Duelist, uh, Force of the Breaker. My god, there's a lot here. Forgot how many packs I have sometimes, guys. Imagine if we were to open these all on the channel, it would be absolutely insane. Okay, so that's going to fall over now, isn't it? Great. <laughs> that big wave of packs is going to fall over. Let me just try and fix it. Uh, let's put this underneath there so we lift it up like that. There we go. I'm a genius, guys. All right, what, did I, what do I need to show you here? So we've still got Force of the Breaker, a European Duelist Genesis, first edition, very, very rare. Crimson Crisis, Raging Battle. I bought some Raging Battle off eBay, and I pulled the Ghost Rare in one of these. I was lucky, so I don't think there's any, anything else in here. Um, first and Ancient Prophecy, Absolute Power Force, first edition. Another Duelist Revolution. These are uh, European Star Strike Blasts, and a Storm of Ragnarok, first edition as well. Very nice. Going to put these back inside now. Got to protect these booster packs, guys. Make sure that you look after them and take good care of them. All right, so in here, what do we have on the side, first of all? The side of this, we got some... Ooh, hello. We got some uh, rare packs here. So a Dark Revelation, a Dark Beginning one, Long Crimp. Absolutely beautiful. I bought this on eBay recently, guys. I didn't pay much for it at the Dark Beginning one. Uh, it's only like... £40, worth it. Look at that, long crimp, beautiful. Three more Toon Chaos First Edition, um, which we are, by the way, as, as of recording this video, we're doing a box break for Toon Chaos, so make sure if you want to participate, follow me on Instagram. Um, this is a Duel Masters, guys. I don't know, if anyone knows anything about this, please let me know in the comments. I don't know anything about it myself. Uh, some more packs, BTS. Lost Millennium, long crimp, beautiful packs. Spanish Power of the Duelist, just because I love the way they look and the fact that they are printed in Korea. Some more Raging Battle, some more Absolute Power Force. Uh, yeah, now we us put this down now. What else do we have? Soul of the Duelist, Striking Neos, loads of Striking Neos. Some more Striking Neos down here. Oh yeah, so it's Striker Neos, first edition Euro. 
uh, Cyberdark Impact Euro, and some Spanish Gladiators Assault. Asalto del Gladiador. So yeah, guys, the last box is this one right here. Let's open it up, and there we go. We have, from the thumbnail, the Light of Destruction, Phantom Darkness, and Gladiators Assault ones. So if we dig into this, guys, now, my collection of GX vintage packs is pretty vast. I warn you now, we've got Gladiators Assault, Phantom Darkness Galore. I picked up about 40 to 50 first edition Phantom Darkness, uh, these are all European, from a guy off Facebook a long time ago. I paid about like a thousand pounds for like, I think it was like 50 packs. He was selling them around 20 pounds a pack. I don't regret it at all. They are m way more than that now. Look how much Phantom Darkness I've got, guys. It's insane. A couple more guys. It is a soul. Phantom Darkness. Um, it's just such a nostalgic, and I love this set. And impossible to find. It is so rare. I can't stress how rare it is. Don't forget about the lightness, the light of destruction. Uh, random blasts sat in there as well. These are all European packs, guys. Oh, so rare. So hard to find. So hard to come by and I'm just lucky that I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 light of destruction. So almost a whole booster box worth. Pretty insane, I think. And how many Phantom Darts do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 15, so 15 there. And then how many else do we have here? So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 6, 27, 28, 29. I did open some in previous videos. I opened some of the heavies. Um, it went pretty well. It didn't go perfectly to plan, but it went pretty well. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this pretty epic video of me displaying my seal pack collection, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I guess I'll show you a bit more of my collection another day. Um, let me know what you want to see. What do you think's worth opening? Just as a quick summary, I, I don't think any of this stuff's worth opening, unless I was like, limited amount of money and just made of money but i don't think it's worth it at all like it's really really not worth it so you're gonna lose money if you open this stuff it's just nice to keep sealed it's just a piece of my collection i've worked so hard to get it and don't want to just blow it all away for a video anyway guys keep it casual i'll see you all in the next video please leave a comment down below and i'll uh, wish you a merry christmas take care ciao for now